What's going on everybody? We're at Image NY all the way here in Queens, New York. And it's safe to say that Mr. Kanye West himself has had his fair share of influence on our sneaker culture today. From Jordans to Adidas all the way to even Visms. Yeezy's put a little bit of hype in all of us. True! Alright, so in today's video, we're gonna be going over the Top, top Sneakers Hype by Kanye West. Let's, Let's go. go! Damn! Yeah. Jordan Retros. Alright guys, so we're gonna start off with the Jordan Retros. Kanye West has worn quite a few of these. Alright, so with these, he had that light distressed denim, and then he just wore that black tee. Okay. That was a fit right there. I feel like when he was wearing the Jordan Retros, that was when he was at his like most relatable stage in his like, you know, clothing career. He was definitely uh, still in that Nike contract. Okay. Nike, I yeah. hit bad and can't get shit away. For these, man, you know, these are pretty classic. Everyone likes these, but... I'm gonna have to just call these the Amber Roses. Man. The Amber I see, Rose. I see Kanye and Amber Rose walking down the street with yeah. these. She had a little size fours. Yeah. <laughs> she had size four, but not, not, not size four. Really hey. <laughs> this is the opposite side, okay? This ain't the Amber Rose. Hey. Kim K. Hey. What makes these so hot? The white cement threes, man. I think it's just the uh, the way the shoe is just made, and then mm, the yeah. cement itself is just so subtle, and it's just a white silhouette. These were already at, like, you know, an elevated. Yes, yeah, for sure. Thing. And then he just brought them to the next level. Yo, it's like, almost like the true sneaker. Sneaker heads like these shoes, but then the hype beast came out of nowhere. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. More. exactly. So moving right along, okay, we got the Aqua Ace right here. I remember he wore these with the dark raw denim. He used to wear a lot of BBC with this. All right, you guys. So. Uh, when I seen Kanye wear the infrared sixes, hey, I was hey, like, hey, 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 those are hot. Okay, I know okay. these aren't the 2000 model, but the RC Reds weren't bad. I feel like he couldn't get his hands on the uh, 2000s. Yep. I mean, those might just start crumbling on him, so he had to go say, with yeah. these ones right here. But I remember these jumped up in price. Crazy. Yeah. Like, at first, no one really wanted these mm -hmm. ones. They were like, the suede, the, the thick suede, they weren't really feeling well, them. Well, people were even talking about the varsity Red. They're like, why did they make it varsity yeah. Red and not infrared? Hey. I remember when he wore these, man. Hey, those are his baggy <laughs> days, okay? Yeah. Next up, we got Jordan 1s. Yo, this is undeniable his influence on the Jordan 1s, specifically the bread ones. Mm -hmm. We gotta, hold on, we gotta talk about these, man. This is the reason why everybody got a pair of 1s. Oh, these are the band ones right here. These are the expensive ones. I'm gonna have to say, the Jordan bread 1s, that outfit, just, man, elevated just the yeah. way I dress. You yeah. know, I stopped wearing the, the screen print tees. <laughs> yeah. I just wanna get the You little... stopped wearing the clear Air Force ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, don't bring that up. This is the AJKO, so yeah, yeah. this is the one that's a little bit different. This is a shoe that Kanye wore that didn't get hyped up. Nah. Yeah. nah. You know what? I do appreciate Kanye for Ray's AJKOs because I see a lot of younger kids that can't afford the old hey. ones. And even the DMPs or even the uh, recent uh, bread ones. So yeah. they were able to afford the yeah. AJKOs. That is true, man. They still feel and look like Kanye. All right, so next up, we got the Louis Vuitton. Yo, I'm not even sure of the young kids. Yeah. They, they don't, don't even know. I, mean? know. This I barely like, know about these. This is when he was Louis Vuitton <laughs> Don. Yeah. You know? okay. oh, in 09, man, a pack of six sneakers. Not a pack, but just a whole line came yep. out. Yeah. We had these called the Dons right here, named after his former manager, Don C. Yep. He also had the gray and peak ones, the uh, Ivy and Jaspers, the Jaspers. And then we got these Dons right here. So what, what what did it mean for the sneaker culture when Kanye West did the Louis Vuitton collab? That's a big collab. This is the time when that you ain't, had... That ain't no small company right here. This is when you saw little 16-year-old kids hopping out their Honda Accords, but they had the Louis Vuitton beanie on and yeah. trying to rock the... Uh, that you know, was me. That, that was you? That was, you know... That was me too. <laughs> Dang. Kanye. Next up, we got the Air Max 90, Woo! all red. Independent Day Flames. Flames. These are hype. Nah, see, Flames. Flames. These is hype. No, Flames. these are straight hype. Man. Flames, man. Flames. Okay. These are hype. You I say hype. Say these are not flames, man. These are hype, man, because you can Nike ID these right now. Was you feeling but these? They not gonna have all Was the little small details. Was you feeling these before you seen Kanye wear? Oh yeah. Oh no. yeah. Oh, no. Trust, you could just tell my ass. Oh yeah. I was, I was <laughs> on them, man. Yeah. They were sitting on shelves for at least a month, and I seen people once Kanye wore them. I seen they they hey, bought like ten of them. They bro. did, man. All right, we also got to talk about you know wearing the runners right now. We got to mm -hmm. talk about the Flyknit trainers right here. Not specifically these colors, yeah. but he wore the what they call them the uh, Yainits, man. Oh, the Yainits, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Flyknit trainers. He had the white ones. He had the black ones. Now we about to go into the deep waters I right know, here, man. man. AKA I know. the, this is the game waters changer. of Adidas. Putting Adidas back on the map for real. Back like, on the map. Back on 
on the <laughs> like they fell off the damn planet. They did, bro. <laughs> you know? Adidas, y'all was care. looking like uh Fila for a moment, man. Y'all. <laughs> hey, Fila. I just feel like that line right there, it just him, that iconic picture of just him yeah. kind of jumping up with these shoes on, really, really hyped up. Mm -hmm. This shoe, specifically the all white ones, yep. too. Man. But also it just opened up our eyes about Adidas. Next up, we gotta talk about his official. Yeezy line, fire flames, all that, whatever you want to call it. The Yeezy ones to me are the AKA the Carrie Hilsons, man. These <laughs> are the knock you downs, oh. man. Alright, so we got the Yeezy ones right here, man. It just had a huge influence from all the retros that we talked about earlier. You got the little bit of eights in there, you got a little bit of sixes in there, you got a little bit of uh uh, uh yeah. little yeah. bit of ones with the swoosh right yeah, here in it too, man. Like, I mean, and then this, this was like, you know, this right here, this was kind of iconic because a lot of people didn't really know what was going on with this yeah. lace rock thing. This was kind of new. He probably took these from the sixes or the fives, yes. right? Or the seventeens. Yeah. So these were the first model, the yeah. Yeezy ones. Now we gotta move on to oh man, these shut the game down when I saw. The Yeezy 2s, man, the Fire Flame, oh my, all that. Oh, oh my. Any word you could call for oh just my, hotness, my, man. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my what a day, what a day, what a day. Ben what a, day. a lot of people platinums. don't really like the Platinums, they like the Solars and the Red Octobers, but I like the Platinums. Uh, platinums are cool, you know, it's the oxidation over here, it probably throws people off. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're gonna wear your nice denims on here, so it's gonna yeah, be stained. Yeah, uh, very true. The creasing on the mesh toe is kind of what kind of draws people away from it. Mm -hmm. But overall, this is a hot shoe, It's man. a hot shoe. The Nike Yeezy 2s, man, one of my favorite sneakers. Yeah. I mean, they're even starting like online petitions to bring these back. It's not happening as much as I want it to happen. I kind of don't want it to happen, you know yep. what I mean? All right, man, so we just talked about the Nikes. So at that point, Kanye West, and Nike's relationship yeah. was looking a little rocky, right? That's crazy. Yeah. And then the boy signed with Adidas, and then the anticipation of what he was gonna come out with was crazy. Yeah. Let's talk about that. that. I like that. I like that. I like that. The this Ugg, shoe right here. The Ugg, the Ugg Yeezy. Black Lay. Yeah. All right, we gotta talk about this, man. Because at first, a lot of people weren't feeling these. Let's just talk about our first initial reaction when okay. we surfaced the internet. I hated these. I thought these were stupid. I was My like, girl was like, yo, I just, I got a pair of these. I was like, no, 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 you got Uggs. You got <laughs> Uggs. These are Yeezys. Okay? <laughs> Yeezys. Don't disrespect Yeezy like that, okay? I mean, this was like just that sneaker that was a little bit difficult to wear. All right, I can't wear my basic just screen tees yep. like this. I can't just wear regular raw denims and just throw yep. them on. You know, you really have to think about your outfit with yeah, that. Yeah, so with the 750s, like I was saying earlier, a lot of people weren't really rocking with how they could just wear them. Yeah. But then, he came out with the 350s. <laughs> we got to and this is just that sneaker that's just so Bam. easy to wear. Hey. The turtle it's just so done. easy to wear. You know, my girl wanted them. She act like she's going to Foot Locker and just get yeah, them. Yeah, like, like, babe, can you give me some? I was like, yeah, yeah, you want to cough up about four Gs? <laughs> so wrapping this one up, guys, we got to talk about the man himself, Kanye West. What does he mean to you guys, man, when it comes to sneakers? He really is ahead of his time, because for me, a lot of times when I see him wear a particular outfit or clothes, I'm like, I don't know if I can really mess with that. And then, but you got to consider it. Yeah, and then like after, <laughs> like after a few months, you know, just looking at it over and over again, it's like, man, I'm going to try a pair of these on. Yeah, just, like, he, I, I never thought I'd wear like Adidas other than maybe yep. some shell toes yeah. or something. Tell me about it. Maybe man. some uh, some D-Rose for Hoover shoes, but he got me wanting to run in these. Yeah. He got me wanting to wear my zipper pants in yeah. these. It's yeah. just crazy. And I feel like Kanye was always a little bit more uh, relatable than a lot of other like celebrities That's when true. it came to like, you know, just his rapping, you know, his image, yep. his style. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video on the top sneakers that Kanye West hyped up. He's had a lot of influence when it comes to sneakers and just selling out sneakers and yeah, whatnot. Please leave down in the comments below your favorite sneaker that we went over today that yeah. Kanye West hyped up. What you think the grail is when it comes to Kanye West hype sneakers. And that's pretty much it. And until next time, we out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you check out this video. Also, check out this video. Leave a comment down below on your favorite Kanye West hype sneaker and what you think his influence has been on the sneaker culture and sneaker fashion and all that. Um, make sure you guys check out Image NY if you guys are ever in New York City. It's in Flushing, Queens, New York. Definitely a dope consignment shop. They got a ton of variety, so make sure you check out Image NY. Check out their web shop. The link will be in the description box below. And that's pretty much it. And until next time, we out. Peace.